The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar. I'm Elaine Kelly, Field Marketing Manager for the Central U.S. here at WatchGuard, and I'll be serving as moderator for our call. Our call today is Endpoint 101, a complete portfolio, and our presenter today is John Norton, South Central Sales Engineer, and before I hand the call over to John, I have just a couple of housekeeping items. All attendees are in listen-only mode for the duration of the webinar. You should see a control panel on your display screen. At any time during the presentation, feel free to submit questions in that Q&A section. We will be unable to answer questions live today, but John will answer your questions via email after the webinar concludes. That's it for housekeeping items. John, I'll hand it over to you. Thank you, Elaine, and good morning, everyone. As Elaine said, today we're talking about Endpoint 101, a complete portfolio. So WatchGuard, of course, is known as a firewall company, but for the last several years, we've been expanding past just the perimeter into secure Wi-Fi and then multi-factor authentication. And now, of course, with the acquisition of Panda Security, we have really broadened our reach into the endpoint beyond the perimeter on or off network. As always, a quick reintroduction to the South Central team. I want to especially call out one of our new members, Andrew Sharples, who handles the Panda channel account management tasks, all things endpoint. So he's your go-to guy. Uh, unfortunately, John Quintello was reassigned to the Eastern United States, but we'd love having Andrew on the team. Welcome, Andrew. Very quickly, an overview of all the products available, and then we'll dig a little bit into those individual products. Uh, very quick and easy overview today. I don't want to get into demos or anything. If you would like a demo or a deeper dive on any of these topics, please reach out to us, email me, email Sean and Andrew, and we'll set something up and schedule a, a good hour or two hour walkthrough. So let's talk about endpoint security and the portfolio. We now have many products in our toolbox. Uh, originally for the last, uh, let's see, five years, we've had threat detection and response, which was historically WatchGuard's only endpoint product. And then we enhanced that with DNS Watch Go. And now with Panda Security, we have onboarded Endpoint Protection, Endpoint Protection Plus, Adaptive Defense, AD360, and we have a couple of special mentions in here that I'll talk about at the end. There is a slight overlap between the products, but as you can see, they really build up into a complete uh, feature-rich, in-depth solution to defense in depth with multiple layers of detection and prevention, and they work together in a beautiful way. Starting with DNS Watch Go. DNS Watch Go is a Windows implementation of the DNS, DNS Watch service that we utilize on the firewall. It is a domain name lookup filtering service. So this allows us to, before anyone makes a connection, filter the responses that they get from the name servers. So if they go out and try to connect to a website that may be hosting malicious content, we actually block that. Whether it's a web browser or an email or even a script, we're able to collect that domain name request, inspect it, and then respond back with, yes, this is good, no, this is bad. If we actually find that something is blocked, either because it's malicious or because it's against the company content filtering policy that you set, we don't just simply block the page. We actually present the user with a security awareness page that says, you may have clicked on a phishing link. This is a malicious website. Here's your company contact info. It is a fully customizable page, but it also has embedded security awareness video training. This does not require a firewall, does not require a VPN. It works anywhere on or off network. One of the great things that we can also do with this is implement safe search very, very quickly with a single click, no content inspection required. It works on all ports and all protocol protocols because we are intercepting that DNS request. Next up is threat detection and response or TDR. Now a little caveat here, I'm not gonna talk about roadmap for 2021, we have some exciting things coming. This name is going to change, so don't be surprised when you see the name change eventually. But uh, threat detection response is our correlation engine that correlates network data from the firewall and the endpoint and produces a device and user risk score. Based on the policies that you set, you can take different actions for that user or device risk. 
you can quarantine files, kill processes, you can uh, remediate uh, registry entries. You can also perform automatic post containment or isolation so that devices don't laterally infect other devices on the network. Now, while the host sensor works, whether it's on or off network, whether it's behind a WatchGuard firewall or not, this is the only product in here that is tied to a WatchGuard firewall. You can only get it if you buy a Firebox and the number of licenses you get is associated with that particular model of Firebox. Uh, one other great feature in here is that we have the capability of doing VPN host enforcement. So when a host, an endpoint, a laptop, whatever, attempts to connect to a WatchGuard Firebox, before that VPN connection is established, we check to make sure that it is running the host sensor and that it is running an approved version of the operating system. This works on Windows, on Mac, and on Red Hat or CentOS Linux. Next, we go into some of the newer products in our, our suite, Endpoint Protection and Endpoint Protection Plus. This is an acquisition from the Panda security uh, portfolio. And Endpoint Protection is your traditional antivirus plus some additional features. So we have the traditional signature-based stuff, also our collective intelligence and contextual detection models that allows you to replace your existing antivirus and in a very lightweight agent, add very robust AV capabilities. It is completely cloud configured, cloud managed. There's no on-site controller. And this works with desktops, servers, terminal servers, virtual machines, Windows, Mac, Linux, Unix, Android. And we do have iOS on the roadmap coming soon. Again, I said, I don't wanna talk about roadmap, but I know that it's gonna come up. Uh, EPP Plus, Endpoint Protection Plus, has all of that AV and contextual capability, but also adds anti-phishing and web content filtering, much like DNS Watch Go, but not in the exact same fashion. The crown jewel in the toolbox is, of course, Adaptive Defense 360. And you'll notice I skipped over one there. There's a layer called Adaptive Defense uh, that is very similar to TDR. It's uh, Adaptive Defense 360 without the AV part. Adaptive Defense 360 is all of that antivirus technology plus a very rich EDR or endpoint detection response XDR solution. So amazing amounts of device telemetry, anti-ransomware capability, zero day protections, 100% process classification, a full zero trust model. Every process running on the device Every application, everything that happens is classified, and it's an extremely lightweight module and you know, low CPU, low footprint, low RAM utilization. Everything is managed from our Aether cloud management platform. One of the great things about endpoint protection and AD 360 and, and all of these products is that it's the same agent. It's the same agent, very small, and you can very quickly pivot or upgrade from endpoint protection, the core product to Adaptive Defense 360, simply with a license change. In addition to that, we have multiple modules that can optionally be turned on in that. Some of these modules include the advanced reporting tool, which is a cloud hosted uh, SIM light, so to speak. Uh, technically it is a, a SIM product, but we're only allowing uh, device telemetry from our endpoint devices. So it's not a full SIM, but it allows you to do some very in-depth reporting and alerting, uh, some really great business intelligence and data analytics tools in there. We have pre-built canned reports and dashboards, or you can write your own queries, either in a dynamic graphical interface or with an actual SQL query. We also have an optional SIM feeder. So if you have a third-party SIM, like say, you know, uh, Splunk or ArcSight or Arctic Wolf or something like that, you can send data back out to that SIM. There is a fantastic patch management option. This is not just Windows security patches, but hundreds of different software packages. So Chrome and Zoom and Office products and uh, uh, Java updates, and we will alert and remediate vulnerabilities and patches either on an automated or regular basis if you want to set a schedule, or you can search and do ad hoc remediations and patching. There's also a full disk encryption module that can be turned on. 
that allows you to centrally manage your BitLocker settings for Windows devices. So your, your encryption and keys, you can turn encryption on or off, recover keys, remotely encrypt devices, remotely decrypt devices. All of these products build upon each other. So the core of it being endpoint protection, that core uh, endpoint agent with the antivirus capabilities, and then we add the web content filtering, and then we add the EDR functionality with the 100% classification. Uh, one thing that I forgot to mention here is that we also include with Adaptive Defense 360, a managed threat hunting service. So we have our security researchers performing threat hunting across multiple sites, across multiple customers and building our collective intelligence with that. The advanced reporting tool builds upon this for that business intelligence and, and data analytics. The patch management tool builds upon this, the full disk encryption. And then lastly, uh, if you're working within the European Union, we do have a data control module for GDPR compliance and searching and monitoring uh, personally identifiable information. This module is not currently available in the United States unless it is on the specific request because the data types are tailored to European Union. We are modifying this for US use soon. Now, special mentions, systems management. We have, with a separate agent, a full remote management and monitoring tool. Again, it is cloud-based. It allows you to remotely connect to devices, monitor devices, check their CPU status, uh, uh, manage some software deployment tools. You can actually build automated tasks that will re uh, respond to specific states on the machine. So for example, if you have a server that is running low on disk, you can run a cleanup script. And there are hundreds and hundreds of pre-built packages, software packages and modules that you can install directly from what we call the comm store or you can actually upload your own software or your own scripts. This works on Windows, Mac, Linux, Android, and iOS uh, with an agent. And we also have agentless options for SNMP, for VMware uh, and Hyper-V hypervisors. You can run WMI, shell scripts, anything like that. My second special mention is AuthPoint because while AuthPoint is technically a user-focused product, it's a multi-factor authentication product, one of the optional resources or modules that you can deploy in AuthPoint is the device logon application. So this is for Windows or Mac, whether it's a server or desktop or a terminal server. When a user attempts to connect to that device and log on to it, they are prompted with the AuthPoint logon screen. So I include this with the uh, endpoint security because it is an endpoint focused portion of the AuthPoint product. To simplify all of this and to give you really that defense in depth and layered security, we have a couple of different packages available. One of them is Passport, which combines off-point multi-factor multi -factor authentication, DNS Watch Go, and Adaptive Defense 360 in a single license. And we also have something called Fusion or Fusion 360. Fusion combines Endpoint Protection Plus and Systems Management. Fusion 360 combines Adaptive Defense 360 and Systems Management. So again, you know, you bundle and save. As always, if you need help or more information, please visit our help center or tech search. For partners, we have learn.watchguard.com, which has tons of on-demand video content. And you can always contact our support team by web or by phone, or you can call or email me. Our daily security bites and the 443 podcast provide uh, security awareness training and an overview of, of emerging threats, as does our Secplicity blog. Find us on social media at LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, et cetera. And that's it for today. Like I said, short and sweet, a quick 15 minute overview. Next week, we'll get into threat hunting with 8360 and ART. Thank you. Thanks, John. Uh, great presentation again today. Thanks, everyone, for joining. Uh, we hope to see you on um, our webinar next Thursday. Take care now. Thanks. Bye-bye.